Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. <laughs> This is the show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky ghost stories. We're shooting four episodes, all of them being shot tonight. We're normal right now, but by the end, oh boy, we're gonna be different. As always, we'll be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. And joining us again this season is professional mixologist and host of Worth a Shot, Whoop. Ricky Wayne. Take it away, boys. Uh, what's up, fellow? Fans of Too Many Spirits, we're back. What is this energy? He's, we're he's, back. He's, 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 I gotta say, with yes. this light behind you right now, you look absolutely No, stunning. I have to say I that mean, even, yeah. even I, I it, it makes a, you even look good. sex idol. He looks like Megan Fox in Transformers. Yeah, wash a car for us. Yeah. Yeah? Ew. That's what she does, right? No, she shows some, it's like, of, like yeah. a stomach kind uh, of thing. Whatever, yeah. uh, we're here, I'm here, and guess who's back? Too Many Spirits fan favorite. Ricky Wang. Steven, thank you hey. for having me back. Ricky, thank you hey. so much for being here. Oh my so, gosh, that's fan a fun. favorite. It's great, so good <laughs> to have you. Absolutely, fan favorite, you know, love this guy. Ricky, uh, how long have you been bartending? I've been bartending, you know, for more than a few years. Uh, like same, what, like same. 10? Like 10. Yeah, oh, that's a long years. time. So we have that about like, you time. know, like 10 and a half years I experience saw. between the two that's of them. That's right. You know? No, that's no, no, no. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a mixologist, right? Mixologist? <laughs> I got him, mixologist. I got him. I'm just here to share, get paid. You know, I, I actually tried to negotiate out of my contract for too many spirits, but you know those oh. lawyers, man, they really got me good because they said if I left the shoot, I wouldn't get paid my normal rate. Shane's a real son of a bitch wow. in Wow. Anyway, in order to get paid, we do have a sponsor for today. Ricky, uh, I'm too lazy to do it, so you, why don't you take it away? Just to let you know, this season we prepared the theme of Prohibition era classic cocktails. And we have the fabulous brand, Top Shelf Wine and Spirits, sponsoring this episode. Top Shelf Wine and Spirits offer over 6,000 products, so they have something for every occasion, whether it be for a hot date, for the holiday season. Top Shelf Wine and Spirits has unique selections that you won't find at your local grocery or liquor stores. Whether you want to grab a $10 bottle or really impress your friends with a $50,000 bottle, Top Shelf Wine and Spirits truly has it all. So no need to pay the premium at the bar. Get quality bottles straight to your home and invite all your friends over. Just place your order, sign for the delivery, and enjoy. Shall we uh, investigate some of the bottles they provided for us today? I think we shall. This first off is a beautiful design. This came from the Unsolved set. It's a uh, <laughs> ghost I mean, files. Oh, ghost file set. He has no respect for the Watcher IP. First, he disrespects Worth a Shot. Huh? I'm talking to Ricky like I, he's- You're talking about the show Worth It? Worth a Shot. Oh, No, not that. Worth It. That I'm doing right. what he does. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. You just, I was so Good hot. One. We got some moonshine? This looks amazing. This is a white chocolate strawberry cream moonshine. What? I've seen Ryan's moonshine does not look like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't you know. know. What I'm saying. I don't Ryan's know moonshine does not taste like strawberry chocolate. <laughs> but I could learn. For 10% off orders of $100 or more for the next month, use code WATCHERXTOPSHELF. Thank you again, Top Shelf Wine and Spirits, for sponsoring this video. Top Shelf Wine and Spirits, we love you. Thank you for the fat paycheck. We love it, you know. <laughs> I, I'm feeling it right now. It feels good. <laughs> but thank you for our bar. Uh, thank you for the drinks. Which hey, let's have them uh, sponsor a shot right now. W would you like this? This is just called quality just control. Co okay. Quality control. Quality fair, control fair. with the burgoos. I'm actually sober now, so I can't. Go with you. <laughs> thank uh, God. But you know, <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally, I'll, I'll have yeah. a little uh, court ordered, right? Quality <laughs> control also. To top shelf wine and spirits. Cheers. 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 That is top shelf. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. The first drink we're making is a twist off of the classic called the Bee's Knees, called the Banshee's Knees. So the first thing we're gonna do, Steven, is we're going to use two ounces of gin. Okay. Oh, that's ice. Cool. So, 
Let's get some ice here. Doesn't even know the difference between ice and Wait, gin. All right, watch. We need some gin. So we need some gin. Okay. Um, Which one's the gin? Can you spot the bottle? Which one's the gin? This looks like the one could be says some gin. gin on it. Right here. This is a tequila. Tequila. Steven, if a guest asks for gin, you can't serve them tequila. R Ricky, just, why just don't you just post. grab some gin? Um, mix yeah. it in post. It's the bottle that says um, gin. Steven bartends like an alien that just got out of a spaceship. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll use whatever bottle you want. This is okay. This player one, sure. So we're going to add two ounces of. Two ounces of this guy? Sure. Yeah, two ounces. Um, here is our measuring jigger. Come on, Ricky. This is. Are you are you new here? What's going on here? You don't oh, measure. We, we, okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, so you want to pour in the little ones. Oh, of not with okay. ice. Okay. What's next? We are next going to add three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. 0.75 ounce is up to this line. We're good. We're good. Oh. It's fine. You know what they just, say? Soaked lemon. Okay. What's next? Uh, we're gonna add just a little bit of this. A little bit. Three quarter ounce, but you know, just just up to this line. How's that smell, Steven? Of this honey syrup. A shrug? All right. What do you mean shrug? <laughs> and <laughs> we're gonna shake and strain. Shake and strain, baby. It's easy. I can you do that. You already have the ice in there? Okay. Into our coupe glass over here. You didn't even shake that. You gave know. it like one little shake. I, fine, I'll shake give you a little it. bit more of a shake. Shake it with Come some purpose. Come on. This is the weakest fucking thing. Yeah, All right. Like, we're done? So then you want to strain out the drink. Into what, the, this guy? The, yeah. All right, here. So you don't want the contents of ice and the whole lemon in there? Just, yeah. <laughs> the disrespect. No strain, huh? I hate it when bartenders do that, when yeah. it's like all the way to the... I then I have that. to kind of like sip it on like... You always got to do it. I almost got to do like an airborne Zamboni yeah. off of it. I don't like that. ABZ. What is it called? The get on your knees drink or something? <laughs> The Banshee's knees. All right, let's try it. Oh, wow. I thought you were. I thought he was. Uh, I thought he yeah. was. Yeah. Whoa. That's actually really good. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen him act like himself since he. Well, I guess he Wait, quit drinking. Since, since the try it, try it, try it. It's actually really good. Now, Ricky, typically, aren't you supposed to put like a fresh lemon slice on the uh, as a garnish and not a squeezed one? Not a squeezed one that you shook up in the glass. Right, that's just an observation. I, 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 I mean, I could be wrong. No, but, you know. Ryan. Ryan, you are not wrong. Ever heard of a recycling? Ever heard of saving the environment? Ever heard of reuse? Well, you could just compost all of them. I mean, you're, you're using them still. The compost of it all. Oh my God! Yeah, he's doing what I want to do. I want to bite into a lemon tonight like an apple. Steven, this is the sexiest you've ever looked. It might taste actually kind Try of good. Try my drink. It's actually good. <laughs> it's definitely good. It's not Steven, it's Top Shelf Liquor. Oh yeah, he did it. Let's high five around, baby, yeah. All right, Ricky, show us how it's, you know, really done. The band cheese these almost indiscernible. Which one? Who, which whoever made which one? Trust me, you're but not gonna want to miss out on this drink. I got dibs on Ricky's. Wow, that looks like a tasty drink. <laughs> yes, it does. Hope I don't get Stevens. We'll find out. Steven, what do you got for us? Oh. What? Can I come on screen now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. We did ask for these uh, these <laughs> martinis extra dirty. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, which one do you want? I will take Ricky's drink. Yeah, you gotta okay. point at it. Much business. That's not fair, today. right? You gotta pay paying attention. Always be paying attention, Ryan. You always gotta be paying attention. A, B, P, A. That's not how this works. That's I how this works. I Ricky's drink. Much too attentive. I can give here. you whichever one I want to give you then. That one's Ricky's. Wait, 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 wait. fuck. <laughs> That's okay, you know the difference. I well, because the. I guess I'll take that one. You give sure? It give it to him? You sure? Look, no, I'm so he, nervous. He Why am I so nervous? Sure? I, I am sure. It has been decided. That's Ricky's. Ha 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 ha! He's like the Joker. I'm just kidding. That's mine. Yeah, <laughs> no! Uh, what is this laugh you are doing now? Drink cam? You're spilling oh! all over your my pants. Knee, my knee. It's impossible. I don't know what I'm doing. Put the, Do you put, not know put, how Hold the camera. There you go. Point the camera at yourself and drink the drink.
Yummy. What would we give that? I give that one nine out of 10 spirits, nine spirits. Nine I'm gonna have spirits. to give this one nine and a half. Oh, oh, oh. Steven Limbs? <laughs> Wait, the Steven made this. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give this eight and a half. <laughs> okay. You're doing a little dance. All right. Hey, put it in there, put it what, in there. That, that was unbiased. That, that was, was unbiased. That was from his heart. That's Maybe. right. Uh, this season we're going to be uh, having a fun little game of Too Many Spirits Bingo. If you want to play along at home, Go to patreon.com slash watcher and you can access this, play along with us all season. For instance, drink is good. Drink is good. I'm circling that and someone dances. Did someone dance? It's a little, uh, yeah, Steven oh, did a Steven little. Steven danced, I forgot, I blacked out with the rage. Uh, these boxes were actually uh, crowdsourced from our wonderful patrons uh, and we appreciate them very much. Well, you'll notice this season that we're fancy boys. That's true, we are in a noir attire. We've got a, a fancy little telephone that's gonna give us a wonderful story. That's right, it's gonna give us our final story of the show, yeah. of each episode. Let's do this link arms around. I mean, here's the thing. This Can tastes, this is here? delicious. No, like the thing where you like do this? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. You're not reaching <laughs> over to me. We did it. Now, now put yours to your mouth. Wait, I'll take a sip from mine. Yeah. Okay, now let me take a sip from mine. <laughs> Lovely. Bottoms up, boys. First story! This is from Anonymous Lemon Bubble Tea on Tumblr. That's what I forgot. What? I, I mean, I have to promise that I'm gonna eat one of those lemons like an apple by the end of this season. Oh, Ryan really wants to eat a lemon like an apple by I the do. end of this season. And I'm gonna kick your ass too. You know, you get, you get, you gotta have steaks. I'm gonna tackle you out of that chair and watch your stupid floppy body roll around on the ground. Yeah, we'll see. You gotta have steaks. That's so the big exciting thing this season, in addition to answering the phone, is that we're gonna eat a lemon like an apple. But it's not till episode four. <laughs> That's really exciting. So this is gonna sound crazy as hell. But my grandma has this old creepy elf on the shelf. It's super limp. What, wait, what? With ratty white and red striped pajamas. Oh, I didn't know you had started the story again. <laughs> <laughs> TMI, <laughs> dude, TMI. I know we're throwing a lemon party. Apropos of nothing, it's super <laughs> It's super <laughs> limp. <laughs> it's super limp with ratty white and red striped pajamas and a really, really creepy face, long nose and everything. Nice. And I swear this thing is a demon. What? Its eyes follow you. I grabbed it and moved it several times as a child to try and remove <laughs> its magic. <laughs> <laughs> and it moved every single time. Wait, it's as in like this person tried to grab the elf on the shelf and every time it was like, ha <laughs> no, yoink, yoink, no, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> miss me. I think they mean they're like putting it away in the closet. Like I, I don't like seeing this elf. Oh they yeah. They shut the closet, they wake up in the morning, it's sitting on their lap. I don't like that. It's even out when it's not Christmas. Oh, I hate that. Put your Christmas decorations away. You're ruining the holiday. If you saw Santa in June, I'd shoot him. <laughs> I'd shoot him dead. Yeah, that's the end of the story. Oh shit, oh, really? I give it a six out of 10. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10 because I didn't realize it was the end of the story. Folks, you gotta bring it home. You yeah. gotta give it a nice zing at the end. You know, that could be on you as the reader. You didn't really give it Okay, let me just... Try that last sentence again and maybe I'll re-rate. Its eyes follow you. I grabbed it and moved it several times as a child to try and remove its magic, and it moved every single time. It's even out when it's not Christmas. <laughs> Is that good? Is that better? Are you trying to upset me? <laughs> yeah, I am. I want to see you smash your own little hat out of rage. I'm going to tackle you by the end of this season. Get out of here. A good start! You know? Start them off low, and then we'll work our way up to the mountain top. That's right. I'm getting mighty thirsty over here. This mountain topped me off. Oh, oh he just, shit. What? Okay, now what just happened is Wait, wait a second, can we have a pickleback? <laughs> Ricky just said, I want to show you a 10 out of 10 drink, and I love that. That's a 10, is what I'm now gonna that, say. Yeah, then, uh, then we'll say that now. Now that's a 10. Now that's a 10. 
That's too many spirits. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what we'll you really got to chew your laughter when you're in a. Yeah. When you're... Yo, is this place haunted? <laughs> what the fuck did you just? I didn't... Oh, folks, we're on our way to a bingo here. How am I gonna put alcohol in this? Wow, Ryan dropped something is on a bingo card. Do I drop things that often? <laughs> Apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> Comes from user Bithectuals. Oh, Bithectuals. Bithectuals on Tumblr. I had a really intense dream after being in this weird limbo, half asleep state all night. I felt like someone was pulling my hands down from under my bed, like a man's hands that wouldn't let go. Man's hands. Man's hands, very scary. You can't just say that and not elaborate. You have hands and you're a man. I would argue that Do any man. You spend man's time looking at your hands being like, oh! I mean, Whoa! yeah, but man's hands are more sausage-like, you know? And I woke up in a cold sweat in the same position as my dream with my wrists kind of tingling. Oh my God, this happened to me the other day. I'm a side sleeper, so sometimes I'll wake up and my hands will be numb. And one day my thumb was numb and it still is. Yeah, I know. Well, actually it kind of went away like two weeks ago. I had to do intense physical therapy. Did you dip it in some hot honey? Yes! I knew it. How did you know that? I know that's what do you got. We have gotta, the same doctor. I know that's what you got to do for a bad thumb. I couldn't go back to sleep afterwards because it felt like someone was still under my bed. Maybe it was because of a ghost. Maybe it was because I took melatonin gummies for the first time. That's the end of the story. I've had melatonin. It doesn't does anything for me. It doesn't make me sleep. When you don't know what do it, shit. It, it makes me sweat profusely. Really? Like I wake up and I'm like soaked in sweat after melatonin. Melatonin, they say it helps you sleep. I don't believe it. I don't either. It, it turns into a strange powder in your mouth. Oh, it doesn't do that for me. The other thing I've taken is a B6 vitamin. It makes your dreams very loud. Does it make you turn into John C. Riley? <laughs> <laughs> It makes your dreams very loud. <laughs> what does a B5 vitamin do? Uh, I don't know. Just doing the six It variety? turns you into a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking too many of those. It makes you B5. <laughs> I give that story a two out of 10. I'm gonna have to give that one also a two out of 10 spirits. Sorry, bisexuals. Oh, oh, I hear a little choo-choo train coming. Oh yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> it's chugging along, and guess who else is gonna be chugging? <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the chug chug train. I apologize, we don't have another coupon. Oh, it's okay, Ricky, it's okay. You have to give me the child-proof one. Thank you, Ricky. I want to look you in the eyes as I sit. Okay, yeah. Stare at me. That is a no, 10. No, that's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10, my good old boy. To industry. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Very biased. Shut up, Steven. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A little too much aggression there. Shut too up, Steven. Yeah, that's okay, the next one's from X. Maybe awkward X on Tumblr. My sister was possessed by the cafeteria lunch lady. Back in high school, the lunch lady passed. R.I.P. But sad. debatable. Cause what? Those, Cause those sandwiches had sus looking stuffings. What the fuck? So fucking killer. So, so she shouldn't rest in peace? <laughs> I, know. Well, yeah, I guess I'm confused by that. Everyone who works at Subway is rotting in hell? That's right. You heard it here first, you make bad food, you deserve to rot in hell. And my sister that day was overcome by a sense to start making her own signature dishes. Which I solemnly swear tasted the same as that old woman's food. That's, that's such a, 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 a nasty thing to say. <laughs> this food is so bad that it's possessed by that lady that died that made bad food. I do think your sister was possessed, having said that. I actually give this one a 10 out of 10 for me. I love it. I love how insensitive it is. That's a big thing for me, talking about a lady rotting in hell when all she did was maybe make a bad sandwich that didn't have enough mayo on it. A bad something. sloppy joe is very offensive. It's a 10 out of 10 from me, thank you. Maybe awkward, Ryan, what does that get from you? I think I'm gonna have to... It's an eight. It's an an eight. eight. Eight out of 10 for me. I can't, I, can't, I can't meet you at 10. I wanted to just for the sake of saying my little thing. Oh, oh, oh But I'm not oh. gonna hand them out. Oh. Not in the first episode. Look. You gotta get some alcohol in me, baby. No, you shouldn't ever feel obligated to ascend to a 10 when it's not there in your heart. Follow your heart. I will follow my heart. Thank you. 
This comes from Miney Marble okay. on Tumblr. Oh. I used to work at a daycare. One day I'm in a classroom alone with the kids during nap time. So the room is dark and silent when I hear a man's voice just go, huh? A man's voice, hate it. You know, scary. It is scary. Scarier, scarier than the hands. No, that would scare me if I was just like in a really quiet room and I heard from behind me, huh? Well now, do you think that that's a ghost then because a ghost is confused? You don't know where he is? <laughs> no, answer me. That's, don't laugh at me. <laughs> that's true. Honestly, if I was a ghost and I saw us two walk into a room, I probably would go, huh? Oh, we're getting low on the fire. It's a log, bro! It's a log, bro! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Tiny, sorry, Mighty Marble. but we'll get back to the story in a second. We gotta put some logs, logs back on. Where the, the fuck fire. are my logs? Where's my fucking logs? Well, you didn't have to follow me. I would have grabbed them for well, you. Well, I want to grab some, too. Ow! Yeah, it's sharp. It's wood. Fucking splinter right in my knuckle. Ding dong. Jesus Christ, it's getting in my drink. That's I better drink good. it before it happens. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. We're gonna get a lot of flame from that. Yes! Conjure it up. You gotta do the fire dance. Rise! Rise! I hate this. Rise! Oh, oh, that's shit. lower than I expected. <laughs> We're in the middle of a story. Have we, we ever done a log bros in the middle of a story? It never compelled us. Oh, well, it compelled us that time. One kid jumped up from his bed and said, someone's talking. And when I asked him who was talking, he pointed at an empty corner. You can't trust kids. You can trust kids. What, what, what does he have to gain from lying there? He just heard a voice come from a, an empty yeah, corner. Yeah, what I'm saying is kids are dumb. All kids are dumb You were a stupid. kid at one time? Yeah, I was a dumb, stupid little idiot. You said it. Something about the smoke is very dramatic. You look sort of like, uh, uh, you're in, like Jason like Isaacs. Batman? I was gonna say Jason Isaacs in The Patriot. But yes, also like Batman, number one Batman. Bingo! What? Chain oh, we got the Batman. Wait, did you actually get a full bingo? Or oh, sorry, just... no, no, not a bingo. Just okay. the one slot. Follow, follow the rules. What do you say when you get a slot filled? You say, I fill the slot. Fill the slot. I just told him to get some rest and nothing else happened. That sounds <laughs> like something you would say. Get, well, I wouldn't say get some rest. I'd say, how about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> uh, actually, I think if I was a teacher, I probably would not play into it. I wouldn't go, where? What's he saying now? Oh, it's a teacher. It's a teacher. Okay, I wouldn't say a swear word at a child then. I'd probably say. say, very good imagination. We love that you're such a creative little child. Now go to sleep. <laughs> I would be like, what did he say? <laughs> Is he still there? Could I talk to him? Put me on the phone. Put me on the phone. Don't engage with him or he will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it in my bones, it's a four. I'm gonna give that- That's a bones four. I'm gonna give that- It's a bones four. I'm gonna give that an eight. An eight out of 10 spirits for me. I kind of liked it. An eight? That's right. I'm not here to quarrel with you, sir. It sounds like it is. But an eight? Hmm. That's right. I like the idea of a kid hearing something out of a corner and everyone heard it and it's like, it came from there, no one's there. I like that. Well, the time has come for us to enjoy our final story of the evening and we will be calling for our final story on our magical phone. What if it's Shaquille O'Neal? Shaq? Shaq? It is Shaq. Uh, my friend is a huge fan. Whoa, dude, let me fucking talk to him. Is it fucking No, Shaq? he's right here. Dude, give me the fucking, I can't believe give me the phone. phone. Oh, you it, Yo, dude! Oh, it's just fucking Steven. Oh. Steven does a really good shack. How did you do that? What is this? You're a fancy little butler. Would you like a story? <laughs> yes, I would. I would, I would Father. Oh, thank that you. Good. It better be good. Away with you. Shoot. Away. <laughs> Nasty cretin. This is from Sad Cena. I don't know if that's a reference to John Cena. Oh, maybe. On Tumblr. A lot of Tumblrs out there yeah, today. Yeah, a lot of Tumblrs. When I was 14, I went to take a tour of the Queen Mary since it was fairly close to where I lived. Nice. Beautiful ship. Bigger than the Titanic. Tough to brush your teeth on that one. Yeah. They, they toss your toothpaste around. Watch, bags are stiff. They also turned on sinks when I was trying to sleep and I was like, hey, there's nobody in the bathroom, you know? Yeah. Hope that doesn't fall down. Windy. 
It's fine. We, we gotta keep going. Don't worry about it. Don't look at that. Look at me. Me and my brother were chatting it up with the docent. We met that docent. We he did. recommended we go to um, Rock Bottom Brewery, his favorite That's bar. Right. The docent seemed to like us a lot. Yeah. So at the end of the tour, he lets us take a peek at a room exclusive for the ghost tour. Is it the B3 whatever, the room we were in? No, it seems like they don't care about that. The haunted pool. Oh yeah, a couple Did people- Did we get to see the pool No, because it was like under construction, but I think some people drowned in there. Once I got into the center of the room, a ghost slapped me right across the face. What? <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Sounds like my kind of ghost. <laughs> I was Normally you have to pay for that. <laughs> I was in utter shock. I thought I would never experience something like that ever again, but my school decided to host our prom on that accursed ship. That sounds... That's sick. Badass. Yeah. I mean, just think about just getting fucking tanked for prom. Don't drink when you're... Don't drink. ...underage. Ever. 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 Don't drink ever. But... <laughs> Oops, already gone because I chugged it. <laughs> I went to get away from the crowd in the bathroom, but then... SLAP! Oh, that got me. That was good. Thank you. The ghost struck again. Double slapped. Oh, shit. Backhand or front hand? It doesn't say. Uh, I think a backhand, though. A backhand is more regal, for sure. Is That's it? That's like you're getting slapped by a lord. <laughs> I thought I told you, chicken! <laughs> Okay. Uh. I was so pissed, I got in my car, <laughs> sped off, and was stopped by a cop! Now that, that's a 10. ten. And that's too, too many spirits! It's a beautiful way to end this episode off to... So we're off to the races, folks. A silver 10 served on a silver platter by none other than Stephen Lim. Steve and who would have thought that he'd actually be good for something? <laughs> Those old white gloves look wonderful on him, I gotta he say. He does he's look like, good in the white he's gloves. like Mickey Mouse's cousin. That's true. Cousin Tiger. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, shit. That's oh, no. I, mean, hey, I got bingo. No, you, you didn't get didn't. bingo. No, you didn't. Bingo. You got a bingo? I'd like to see it. You liar. Bingo. Where's Ryan cousins? Ryan, drop something. Cousin talk. Free space. Spirit cam. This is rigged, dude. Drink is good. Hey, what does he win? Does he win something? I guess Steven wins the episode. That was all we had prepared for that? Was he just say, I win? <laughs> I guess so. Steven, how about you get to choose who takes Sorry. a shot? Ryan, take a shot. I knew he was going to choose me. <laughs> I mean, I all wanted right. a shot anyway. I did you, can that do, with, you can do a little I did pickle, that with a pickle my, boy? I did that with my uh, mind. Uh, oh, can I get a pickle back? Can I get a pickle back? Dude, can I get a pickle back? What do you back? want? Can I, Alcohol? Can I get a pickle back? a pickle back. Do you want whiskey? Can yeah. I get a pickleback? So Ryan's about to drink a pickleback, which is a shot of whiskey followed by a shot of pickle juice. Unfortunately, the only pickles we have are moonshine pickles. You gotta. You also gotta specify that pickle juice serves as pretty much a chaser for the whiskey. Full it, it palate It completely cleanser. neutralizes the, the burn of the whiskey. In this case, it's almost like I'm taking two shots of alcohol back to back. So every time you drink a shot, you have to say top shelf wine and spirits. Yeah. Which one is which? You can guess. I'm gonna guess the one with pickle seeds is the pickle juice. <laughs> Top shelf wine and spirits. Top shelf wine and spirits. <laughs> you know what? It worked? It's kind of good. It, it tastes really pickly. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week, everybody. The journey continues.